people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, make sure you guys hit that like button and definitely take the time to subscribe, and all that will be greatly appreciated. Let me just say this, man. On December the 11th, say the date. I'm excited for this fight. I can't wait. You know, shout out to Frank Warren. I, I criticize Frank Warren a lot, but for Queensberry Promotions, Frank Warren, BT Sport, in my opinion, with this matchup, they hit a home run out the park. They hit, they, they, hit, they hit a home run to dead center field right out the park because I think this matchup is one of the best matchups in boxing from an entertainment standpoint. And, it's, and, and, it, and this fight does have some significance in the middleweight division. And that's the fight between Chris Eubank Jr. and Liam Williams, December the 11th, save the date. Love this fight. You know, really excited about this fight because Eubank is a guy that has a lot to prove. You know, he's taken some losses early in his career to like guys like Saunders, guys like, um, you know, uh, George Groves as well. And he's still trying to find his way in the middleweight division. I know he's, I think he's like 29, maybe 30 years old. So he's no young kid anymore. He, he needs to get a move on with his career. And I think this is the fight that is good to see where he's at. You know, Liam Williams, this is a guy as well, had some close fights. With Liam Smith was very much in these fights with Liam Smith came up came up a bit short his last fight I thought he fought the best middleweight in the world the best fighter at 160 in the world and the best fighter from 160 to 168 and yes that includes Canelo he fought the best fighter in Demetrius Andrade and he was right there with him you know he was right there with him he was willing to do anything it took to win that fight you know he was he was he he got physical with boo boo if he had to box outside the rules to, to make the fight more competitive he did that and people 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 may disagree with that but at the end of the day it's a fight and demetrius andre had superior boxing skills to him and liam williams knew that so liam williams knew the best way he could make that fight even was to get extremely physical with him and get dirty if he had to and he showed the willingness to do it do it and there were some times where there were some nervy moments for, for boo boo andre you know liam williams took him to some, to, to some deep dark a couple places and spots of that fight and for me his stock went up now this fight how how do these fighters match up with each other i think it's a good fight eubank is a guy that likes to throw a lot of combinations eubank will put three four five punches together if you allow him to but eubank's also a guy that sometimes his punches can, can get a bit wide so you know there's always that there's always that avenue right down the middle bang you could land a good right hand on him. You can land a good left hook. You can land a good power jab on him because sometimes his punches do have a tendency to get wide, especially when he throws combinations. Um, also, also I'll say this, you know, one thing that I, I love that Liam Williams is bringing to this fight is his physicality. You know, Liam Williams is gonna be in his chest. Liam Williams is gonna try and um, bully this guy. And my thing is this, Eubank is a guy that very athletic, got great stamina. Um, I felt like if boxing had 15 rounds back, like like back in the day, I felt like maybe maybe this guy would have would have had a better career. But boxing has 12 rounds, and he don't have that three he don't have that three round luxury at the back half of fights like fighters yesteryear did. But Liam Williams, I think, is going to go in there and try and try to test the stamina of a Eubank. He's going to be in there in his chest. He's going to be throwing hard body shots. He's going to be throwing elbows. Whatever he's got to do to to make the fight. Uh, to, to make him fight and make it a, a barroom brawl, he'll make, he'll make it, you know? And Liam Williams, you know, you got to factor in. The two losses he had early in his career were at 154. He's at 160 now. And the only guy he's lost to is Demetrius Andre, which, is, which there's no shame in that. A lot of guys are going to lose to Demetrius Andre when they fight him. He's, he's a very good fighter. Um, so I really feel like this could be the coming out party for Liam Williams. Like... You know, Eubank, a lot of people question his dedication to the sport. A lot of people question his heart. A lot of people question a lot of things about him. Um, and if his heart and his balls are not in check for this fight, he will get found out by Liam Williams. Because I'll tell you this, one thing we know one thing we know about Liam Williams come hella high water is we, we know that that Welsh motherfucker is crazy. And we know he's going to go in there and he's going to do whatever it takes to win. And, and not even just that. Liam Williams has decent boxing skills. It's not like he's just some C-class fighter who's just throwing these wide shots. No, he's, 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 he can box a little bit. Um, he's got some things about him. He just he just does it in a really physical and very brute fashion, which which kind of overshadows the skills he does have. Um, so, yeah, you know, really looking forward to this fight. And I really feel like the, the winner of this fight is looking at 
you know, putting themselves in the title contention. You know, Liam Williams already challenged for a title his last fight. He lost to Bubu Andre, but he wants to get back on the fast track to title contention. And, and fair play to him. You know, he he had he was more within his he was well within his rights, Liam Williams, to take an easier fight, to take two or three uh, 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 fights to build his record up. But he did, he didn't do that. Liam Williams showed that, uh, showing that he wants to fight the best competition available out there. He's taking on Chris Eubank, who is probably one of the best available opponents out there for him. So credit to him and credit to Eubank because Liam Williams, truth be told, he's a high risk, low reward fighter. You don't really get anything for beating Liam Williams. Um, and he is a guy that's going to push you and make it hard for you in the fight. So fair play to him. He could have been fighting guys like he fought in his last fight, um, his last couple fights, but he's not doing that. He's fighting a guy that challenged for a world title, a guy that's an established British level fighter, a guy that's a, a, a established European level fighter, and a guy that's a, a fringe contender on the world stage. So you can't you can't fault him for that. I think this to me, if you bang were to, if you bang were to beat Liam Williams, it's very very arguable that this could be the best win of his career. I mean, because the two best opponents on his resume were what he fought he fought um, Groves and Saunders, lost them both. He fought James DeGale, yes, but James DeGale was at the uh, tail end of his career. That was probably one of the worst versions of James DeGale. So maybe you could say James DeGale is better than Liam Williams at that point in his career, but I, I don't think so. James DeGale was shot to bits. I, I, knew people, I knew people personally who sparred James DeGale because he was doing a lot of his camps in Miami, and they were all telling me, BT, James DeGale don't got it. He going to lose to Eubank, and he lost to Eubank. So <sighs> Liam, I like, I, I like his chances. I like his chances. I'm favoring Eubank because I feel like Eubank um, has a little bit more with him. But like I said, if his balls and his um, heart and his conditioning is not in check, he will get found out in this fight. And I, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards Eubank to win the fight, but I'm rooting for Liam Williams because I like Liam Williams. He won me over his last fight with Boo Andrade, you know, to go on there with the best middleweight in the world and 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 and, and get him some problems. You know, it shows that uh, there's some there, there's something about Liam Williams, and um, you know he's had a couple fights early in his in, in his career so far where he's fought some named guys, but he hasn't been able to quite get over the hump. And you know, Eubank Jr. In my humble opinion, he's a step down from what Liam Willi Liam Smith is at 154, and he's also a step down from what Bubu Andre is at 160. So I feel like this is the this is his, this is really a good chance for him to get over the hump, and I'm, I'm rooting for him. You know, he he's a, he's a he's a tough fighter. He got some skills. He's, he's he's physical. He doesn't give a fuck. I like that about him. Um, and on top of that, he's willing to fight anybody. He's willing to fight anybody. And 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 he fought Demetrius Andre. So I, I I always root for the guys that fought Boo Boo because I I get sick of people who saying that he hasn't fought nobody. And I want his, I want I want his resume to be looked at in, in, a, in a better light. But uh, yeah, December the eleventh, say the date. Gonna be a good fight. The U British boxing going out with a bang because this is also the same day that Conor Bend is fighting Chris Algieri. So. Um, decisions, decisions, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, uh, as far as what the hell we're going to be watching December, December 11th, but yeah, you guys leave your comments down below, let me know, like, who are you favoring, who are you picking, why, what chance do you give Liam Williams, and yeah, you know, like I say in every single one of these videos, you know, you can love me, or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel, so until next time, take care guys.